How are you doing everyone? I hope you're doing well. I'm just going to uh, report in that I haven't had the vaccine. I have uh, been quite resolute about this. Now at the start, before Dr. Fosey was exposed as a liar, I was tottering with the idea of being vaccinated. But since all that has happened and him being found out to have lied, and then researching the World Health Organization's guidelines and then finding out that they didn't even follow their own guidelines at the start of COVID, I have decided it's not for me. I don't particularly like having injections, something that goes back to when I was a kid. And now I'm an adult, I find there's just even more reason to reject having this vaccination. Now there's going to be a lot of pressure that's going to come up, well already has had pressure already. I've had uh, the National Health Service ring me up out of the blue and then remind me that the telephone call would be recorded for training purposes and I said well I'd rather not go through with this, I'd rather not have this conversation if you don't mind and so I put the phone down. That won't be the end of it. What they'll do now, they'll put me on a special list. And I should imagine that they'll, they'll put anybody that they know who has not had the vaccination on a special list. And then they'll systematically get around to us. I hate these days. I hate living in this time. Absolutely shocking period of time to live in. We're not even in the difficult period yet, are we? We're still in the lame, what I call the leaning period, you know. Uh, there is going to be a calm before the storm. And uh, believe it or not, consider this calm at the moment compared to how it's likely to be. Right, so uh, just thought I'd just get that off my chest. If anybody else has refused to have it, um, I don't blame you. Because the more we learn about it, the more we see that the powers that be are just so adamant that the whole world takes this vaccination. Even if we don't bring in Revelation 13, 16 to 18. If we just look at it from a normal point of view, a non-religious point of view, they're not even following, I'm talking about the figureheads now that are telling us what to do. They're not even following the same rules that we're following. I'm talking about Matt Hancock, absolute arsehole. And I know why. It's because there is an agenda. There's an agenda to this. And so they're almost laughing at us, constantly laughing at us for being the sheep that we are and just falling for any old shit. Well, I'm not falling for it, not now. If I get COVID and I have to go to hospital, I'm still not having the vaccine. I may even refuse to have any um, oxygen. I may just say, that's it. They're the cards I've been dealt with and I'm gonna accept it. And if I think more people are like that, you just might find out that the natural antibodies in your body will be enough to fight it off. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't get too worried about it, people. It is what it is. It has to run its course. We have to uh, let the beast get his own way at the moment. But there's two arms, isn't there, to the beast? Th that's another point I wanted to uh, bring up in this conversation. There's two parts to the beast. There's the spirit part, the demon part, and Satan being the figurehead of that particular arm of the beast and then there's the earthly hordes well it's the earthly hordes that are carrying out all this instruction but the one giving the instruction there's no doubt in my mind it's satan and, it's the, and the demons who will probably pose as aliens uh to fool us again and that's why the pentagon don't mind admitting that there just might be something out there that they can't explain maybe they're getting us ready for when the demons uh, run amok when uh, they're up against God's armies. Well, there you go.
a little thought to be going on with. See y'all. Bye-bye.